No further questions, Your Honor. I would, I, I would like to question your witness. May I cross-examine your witness? Please. Uh, so you say that you were in your store and it was a perfectly normal day. Describe to me what a normal day is. People come to my store, they purchase my items, uh, and they leave with the purchased items after they purchase them. Alrighty. But, but a normal day does not involve such people from coming to the are you are you insulting my client? Yes, I am. Your Honor, is that legal to insult a client? Is that like that's legal? Okay. Uh, moving on. So you saw you say you saw my client come into your shop and slip through magazines. And uh, what were you doing at this time? I was reading magazine. What magazine was it? It was? Yes. Are you sure? I am positive. What edition was it? The, um, I think it's the 22nd edition. 22nd? Yes. Okay. Was, was it interesting? Uh, irrelevant question. That's an irrelevant question. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Um, Anyways, were there any other customers in this yes. store at the time? There were? There was a redneck man who was in the store, as well as a crazy old lady with rainbow colored hair. Rainbow hair, really? Yes. Really? Yes. There was rainbow colored hair? Yes. There, she had rainbow colored hair. Yes. Are you sure about this? Yes! Excuse me! Objection! Badgering the witness. I'm scaring your witness. You're scaring me. Sorry. And there was my security guard. And him! Him? Who's, who's him? Be more specific. The man! Him! That, that is all. Okay, that's it. Yay. The prosecution calls. Where were you on the day in question, April 18th? As seeing you are my client's pet. I have an objection, Your Honor. A pet cannot be a witness. Overruled. That's very interesting, Scooter. I think I should come in and talk for Scooter, because I understand what he says. You right? can't witness again. He he understands. I will what the I will say I will tell you what what Scooter tells me. Okay, I am here. Right. Continue. So what did you see on April eighteenth, Scooter? Nothing. You saw nothing. But he tends to lie. Mr. Scooter, are you lying to me? I, I believe our witness should swear on the Bible. Witness, do you swear on the Mrs. Holy Scooter, Bible? Do you swear to tell the truth, all the truth, nothing but the truth, truthfully? So help you God, because you're on the Bible. He said, I swear. Alright, sir. You may go back to the stand. Please proceed. Is that all you saw, Mr. Scooter? There's nothing. He said no. He saw a few people in there. Could you describe these people to me, Mr. Scooter? He said the people, they, there was a man in a cloak with lo some longer hair and a woman with rainbow color colored hair, as well as a redneck man, and he says, he saw me, he saw, he's sweet, he saw me, but no, and might, I point, long -haired man. might I point out to the defense, I'm going to add in a question, aren't, aren't animals colorblind, 
I wanted to know if there were if it was rainbow colored hair. He is genetically mutated. I and I would like I would like to object to Mr. Scooter's statement of there was a redneck in the shop. I believe that might be offensive to so, to certain people. Fine then. Scooter, what can you say? I believe he means a southern man, if I may say so. No, Scooter lies. He says he believes he saw a Canadian. So was was this Canadian the one that robbed the store? He said no. Then who did rob the store? The man in the long cloak and long hair. As you can see, Mr. Judge, who here has the longest hair? And what does that tell you, Mr. Judge? Just look at that. Is no, I, I object. There are lots of people no. with long hair. For the questions, there are lots. Are of you people are you hair. saying that people with long hair commit crimes? No, I'm just saying that all the evidence is against him. This whole court is out of order. You're out of order. Order in the court. No further questions.